Hi everybody and welcome back. Let's take a look at some news items for the first week of 2012. Now it is 2012, so according to the Mayan calendar, it is going to be the end of the world as you know it. But hold on, I have a news flash, hot off the press. The end of the world has been postponed because of, what else, bugs and viruses. Alright, let's move on to some real news, shall we? Well, first up, Ubuntu 14.04. Now, this was actually a statement that was released by Mark Shuttleworth a couple months ago. But basically, what he said was uh, 14.04, and it's scheduled to be released the spring of 2014. According to Mark Shuttleworth, version 14.04 LTS will power tablets, phones, smart screens, from the car to the office kitchen and it will connect those devices cleanly and seamlessly to the desktop, the server, and the cloud. You know what, it sounds pretty cool, but I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, next up, let's see. The Linux kernel version 3.2 has just been released and some of the enhance, enhancements or improvements to Linux 3.2 kernel will be an optimized GPU or graphics processing unit. Basically, if I read this correctly, this means that battery life is going to improve dramatically with the next release. Now, if you're adventurous, you can test this in the alpha release of Ubuntu 12.04, Precise Pangolin. All right, let's go into some Windows news. Well, apparently, Windows 8 is going to have a couple of cool features if something happens to your operating system. Apparently, there is going to be a button that will allow you one of two options. The first option will be reset your PC, remove all personal data, apps, and settings from the PC, and reinstall Windows. The second option will be refresh your PC, keep all personal data, metro style apps and important settings from the PC and reinstall Windows. So this seems to me like a version of System Restore but it seems to be a lot more simplified for some of us Windows dummies. But the beta version of Windows 8 I hope will be released on schedule the end of February because I am uh, needless to say curious to check it out. Alright well what else? Kodak the iconic company, photography company Kodak, apparently is going to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Uh, it's kind of sad, but this doesn't surprise me consider considering the uh, waning sales of uh, standard film camera. I, I don't know. That, does anybody really use film anymore? I mean, I really, I, I don't. Anyway, it looks like Kodak may file bankruptcy. All right, last thing on the news, a little bit of car automotive news. If you know anybody who drives a GM Chevrolet Volt, apparently GM is going to recall all 8,000 Chevrolet Volts because of a possible fire hazard with the battery. Now this, mind you, is about a car that was built as a hybrid to work off the battery and gas, and there's a possible fire hazard off the battery. Well, wait a minute, don't they make something called the Chevrolet Blazer? Okay, well, that's it for the news for the week, the first week of 2012. I hope everybody had a terrific new year. The future is here, and as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future. Ciao.